Billy Graham quotes. It is the Holy Spirit's job to convict, God's job to judge and my job to love. The will of God will not take us where the grace of God cannot sustain us. I've read the last page of the Bible, it's all going to turn out all right. God never takes away something from your life without replacing it with something better. When a brave man takes a stand, the spines of others are often stiffened. Tears shed for self are tears of weakness, but tears shed for others are a sign of strength. My home is in heaven. I'm just traveling through this world. Being a Christian is more than just an instantaneous conversion, it is like a daily process whereby you grow to be more and more like Christ. God has given us two hands one to receive with and the other to give with. We are not cisterns made for hoarding, we are channels made for sharing. We are the Bibles the world is reading, we are the creeds the world is needing, we are the sermons the world is heeding. A real Christian is the one who can give his pet parrot to the town gossip. Women need a reason for having sex, men just need a place. When wealth is lost, nothing is lost, when health is lost, something is lost, when character is lost, all is lost. I don't want to see religious bigotry in any form. It would disturb me if there was a wedding between the religious fundamentalists and the political right. The hard right has no interest in religion except to manipulate it. Therefore I live for today certain of finding at sunrise guidance and strength for the way. Power for each moment of weakness, hope for each moment of pain, comfort for every sorrow, sunshine, and joy after rain. Courage is contagious. When a brave man takes a stand, the spines of others are often stiffened. Billy Graham End of Construction Thank you for your patience. Inscription on Ruth Bell Graham's grave inspired high road sign she saw. Joy cannot be pursued. It comes from within. It is a state of being. It does not depend on circumstances, but triumphs over circumstances. It produces a gentleness of spirit and a magnetic personality. Many invest wisely in business matters but fail to invest time and interest in their most valued possessions, their spouses and children. Remember, he wants your fellowship, and he has done everything possible to make it a reality. He has forgiven your sins, at the cost of his own dear son. He has given you his word, and the priceless privilege of prayer and worship. Christ not only died for all, he died for each. Only God can give us a selfless love for others, as the Holy Spirit changes us from within. This is one reason we must receive Christ, for apart from His Spirit we can never be freed from the chains of selfishness, jealousy and indifference. Will others see Christ's love in your life today? I feel sorry for the man who has never known the bracing thrill of taking a stand and sticking to it fearlessly. Moral courage has rewards that timidity can never imagine. Like a shot of adrenaline, it floods the spirit with vitality. Self-centered indulgence, pride and a lack of shame over sin are now emblems of the American lifestyle. Heaven is full of answers for which nobody ever bothered to ask. God proved his love on the cross. When Christ hung and bled and died, it was God saying to the world, I love you. Comfort and prosperity have never enriched the world as much as adversity has. Worship leader George Beverly Shea kidded Billy Graham that the latter would be unemployed in heaven while Shea would still have a job leading worship. The legacy we leave is not just in our possessions, but in the quality of our lives. The greatest waste in all of our earth which cannot be recycled or reclaimed, is our waste of the time that God has given us each day. Your faith and hope are in God.
You cannot come to Christ unless the Spirit of God brings you. But what if you ignore his warnings? Then you are in the gravest danger, for some day God will no longer be speaking to you. Then it will be too late. Come to Christ while there is still time. Christ, God's greater ark, stands ready to welcome you to safety today. World events are moving very rapidly now. I pick up the Bible in one hand, and I pick up the newspaper in the other. And I read almost the same words in the newspaper as I read in the Bible. It's being fulfilled every day round about us. Our relationship must be right with God before it can be right with man. We need to encourage new believers to feed on God's word it is nourishment for the soul. Reading God's word and meditating on its truth will have a purifying effect upon your mind and heart, and will be demonstrated in your life. Let nothing take the place of this daily privilege. He lives in the hearts of those who trust in him. Our confidence in life after death comes from these very truths. Prayer is for every moment of our lives, not just for times of suffering or joy. Prayer is really a place, a place where you meet God in genuine conversation. The second coming of Christ will be so revolutionary that it will change every aspect of life on this planet. Christ will reign in righteousness. Disease will be arrested. Death will be modified. War will be abolished. Nature will be changed. Man will live as it was originally intended he should live. I have read the last page of the Bible. It is all going to turn out all right. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can. The ground is level at the foot of the cross. What will it profit a man if he gains the whole world, and loses his own soul? Mark 8 36